Hello guys, my name is Larry and I'm the creator of Tropic Tapis. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 4 out of 6 angelfish pairs that I have spawn at the same time. Come on, let's check it out. So here are my breeding pairs or my breeding tanks for my angelfish. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my first pair of Peruvian angelfish spawn egg. As you can see, the tile is filled with healthy eggs from this pair right here. So my next pair that I have is Philippine Blue Angel. They are still fertilizing the egg at the moment. And you can see eggs right there on the, on the tile. So this is my male at the front, female at the back. The third pair that I, I have, the spawn egg. These are the double black angelfish. Pair number one, double black angelfish. Uh, for some reason, they like to spawn or lay their eggs at the edge of the tile. Uh, you will notice my other pair of double black angelfish also did the same way, but on the other side of the tile. But it's just weird why <laughs> they choose to lay their eggs on the edge even though the tile is too wide but um, hey you know it's a blessing right so i'm gonna remove all the tile take out the eggs and uh, put them on a the tumbler and then within two to three days we're gonna have wigglers from this angelfish that i have in my fish room, I normally have um, a gallon of RO water. I keep it in here so I have the water temperature same as my breeding tank temperatures. I'm gonna put some RO water. This is my pair number one angelfish. Double black. And I'm grabbing the second one. They don't have much, but um, both of the eggs look healthy. And we're gonna transfer them on my incubator. So we're gonna have them here on my RO water. I'm gonna use this paintbrush I got from Dollar Store. I'm gonna use this to remove the eggs. So with my experience using this um, compared to turkey baser, uh, the turkey baser takes a little bit longer than using this paintbrush. Um, I don't see eggs being crushed or destroyed by doing this. So for me it's very effective. So since I have a lot, a lot of eggs and um, I don't want to get confused what type of angelfish I have on that uh, base or tumbler, I'm going to write down the name. I'm going to write down double black. Since um, I know already this is angelfish, so I don't need to put angelfish on it. I'm just going to write down the date. 6, today is 22. So now I'm going to transfer the eggs into my tumbler or a flower base. I'm going to use turkey baster to make sure all the eggs will be transferred and nothing going to left behind.
So now, uh, since I have all the eggs on my tumbler or flour base, I'm gonna put methylene blue on it. This will help the eggs not to have fungus, otherwise the eggs will get destroyed and it will never hatch. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and you can also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can see the updates with this um, breeding project for my angelfish. I will try to upload um, every week to see the progress with the eggs that we just harvest and uh, let's see how much will hatch and how much will die. So I will show you the complete details on breeding angelfish. Now that we're done with my double black angelfish, um, as you guys can see, I put them in one container because I know they are the same strain. So with my Peruvian and with my Philippine blue angel, of course, I'm gonna need to have them separate um, just you know to avoid fish from getting mixed up. So um, I'm gonna do the same procedure with my other two um, breeders or strain and um, I will see you maybe a day or three when the eggs starting to hatch. See you guys later.